Warrior. Okay, so assuming it is Odd Warrior. These are some of our best cards. We do need to like actually be able to compete with like the early game. I sometimes die. I'll keep the Minstrel. Benoit Balls with the 10-month resub said we'll be playing MTG Arena soon. Uh, I will be playing on Wednesday at least. I'm actually gonna, only going to be streaming through Wednesday this week because I'm going to a friend's wedding and I leave Thursday. Uh, but I will be playing MTG Arena on Wednesday at least. We may play some later tonight, depending. If people if people are uh, really interested in seeing some arena tonight, I may I may just swap over and play some later. That sucks. I'll just backstab SI this. Neither of them are particularly great in the matchup. I could just backstab and dagger it. And then that sets up for Minstrel. I think I'd rather get the 3 3 on board. When's the next HCT? It's actually uh, the championship starts. Uh, ne it's next weekend. Well, it starts next Thursday. The, the uh, live broadcast, like the live, like in uh, studio broadcast, or whatever, is Saturday, Sunday. I guess I'm sort of making this more complicated than it is. It starts next Thursday. <laughs> There's a live audience for Saturday and Sunday for the elimination rounds. For all the top eight rounds. He can uh, super collide these if he wants, or just trade if he doesn't have it. Oh, okay. Dynamatic. Sure. Spooter! Alright, um, we're gonna play this into a Minstrel. With this in the middle against Zebra Collider. I think this is a good matchup. Like, you can sometimes fall behind early, like, weirdly. Like, they can actually kill you if you try and go, like, too ultra value oriented. But, like, with Valera and Espionage, it's really hard for them to beat you. He has this. Just kind of makes me just want to Hench Clan Thug get this online. This helps thin our deck to find Valera and uh, Espionage. Mm. Ooh, rude. That's okay. Backstab means I don't have to necessarily... I can just backstab and SI. Backstab SI this. File Spine. Could also coin. I'm gonna save the coin for Auctioneer though, I think. We could trade to try and prevent another uh, MC tech, but I think having the, the buffer against Super Collider is valuable too. Uh, there aren't that many big things in Warrior decks for me to need to hold on to Vilespine for outside of things from Drone or the uh, Direhorn Matriarchs. And we have more removal. It's not like we only have Vilespine, especially given the espionages. Alright, that actually split well for me. Spooder. So, do you want to start Auctioneer? I kind of do. Ooh. Okay. Eh, do I want Espionage? Just Eviscerate this guy. Yeah. Possibly draw another Eviscerate or Prep. This also puts him down to two armor. 
Maybe I should have eviscerated his face so he has no armor against Reckless Flurry, but my life total actually does matter in the matchup because I'm trying to go basically infinitely long. I do have Zillix though, so I probably should have just stabbed it. Thanktune says, you missed my crappy Twitch sub. Any chance you could try this deck? It's from a while ago, but it's amazing. In this meta, uh, let me take a look. Uh, at least a 4 4 one. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Sub. Thank you very much. I apologize. This is a, a healthy treachery deck. I do find those decks kind of neat. I don't know that you, you need... Why do you have Dire Mole in your deck? That seems like a strange inclusion. Um, I'm good at Espionage. I kind of want to wait and double Strider. Maybe I can just double Espionage. I guess we should probably double Espionage when we do find uh, Valera. Hmm. Speaking of Valera, there she is. Valera is like possibly like the best card in this matchup. When I run Life's Weapon, I think it's too bad when you only have Espionage to uh, actually get cards from other classes. It's like really, really weak. When I play Augmented Alec, I don't think there's room. Okay, I did just fan a bunch. Uh, Albino the Rhino, thanks for the sub. Welcome, welcome. You can't attack my face. Additional spooter. Two additional spooters. I don't think I want to use my dagger here, especially considering I'm about to turn into Valera. I think I want to turn into Valera here. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just want to dagger this attack here. I feel like turning into Valera here is worth it, though. My opponent has another Giggles. Is Zilliac good enough without any other mechs in the deck? I think Zilliac is important to have access to a, a reasonable life steal, a reasonable way to gain life. It's like pretty hard to win without it. I suspect that my opponent's gonna wanna like brawl or reckless flurry, unless he has like super collider. He hadn't had super collider like previous turns. Yeah, Zilliac is very good against aggressive decks. We could double Zilliac next turn if we want to. We're not really under a lot of pressure though. I don't really feel the need. Could into this though. All right. Eh, maybe we will. Okay. Yeah, this, this is actually a board that I kind of do want to just like contain. I have my last booter. All right. So we're gonna play separate Zilliaxes because we want to attack those things. I feel like I do want to actually... Do I want to kill one of these? Because he, he can just kill... Yeah, I don't think my dagger matters that much at this stage. He's used all of his giggles. So now, like, he could potentially kill, kill, and then have to deal with these. Snick them, c -tech. Okay, he didn't get one of those at least. Well, we're up to 33. Just get a warrior weapon. There is a very good chance we will get a warrior weapon off of... Our espionage is at this point, too. Okay, well, I'm just gonna double espionage and then eviscerate this guy. And I think I'm just gonna double espionage and not bother killing this guy, because I can potentially just like auctioneer eviscerate, eviscerate next turn, too. Okay, Omega Assembly is pretty powerful. Alright. Rude. Okay. Give me a prep. What are the odds? 2 and 25, I suppose. Precisely. Town Crier. It's a pretty good chance out of 20 cards to have a rush minion, right? <gasps> we can go infinite! So we can actually set up to infinitely test the way that you do it. Do we need to get another one? If we dead man's hand, 
Then we test get we get the copy of Tess from Shadow Reflection, which gets Dead Man's hand into our deck. We can actually go like legit infinite. Oh, we got, oh, it did work, okay. Well, do we want to just Dead Man's Hand right now? Could we actually double Dead Man's Hand right now? Is there anything we want to get rid of first? You will learn to Let's do it. Your oh yeah, we should have gotten this out of our hand, oops. Oh wait, oh no, 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 no! I screwed up everything. Thankfully, we still have Tess to do it again, but I was like, oh no, I need to get this out of my hand before the second Dead Man's Hand, but I can't, I can't cast it now. What have I done? <laughs> oh, we don't have it. Ooh. I just ruined everything. Oh, there's our actual Spike Shield. Tess will cast it, so we're not, we're okay. Because Tess is going to cast Dead Man's Hand to give us a Tess in our deck, so every time we cast Tess, we'll still restock our deck. But that was still just like really wrong of me. We should have gotten like the cheap stuff out of our hand first. It did shuffle the Dead Man, I know, I know, it did shuffle the Dead Man's Hand in, but we don't have like that Dead Man's Hand to copy in, another Dead Man's Hand guaranteed. The most important thing is the Tess. Yeah, I, I like basically looked and I was like, oh no, I should have gotten rid of this first and screwed myself up. We're good though, we're still good. Cause we still have Tess, we still have another Tess. We still have another uh, Dead Man's Hand, another Espionage. I'm just gonna play two Groms here, I think. The funny thing is like, it doesn't actually, like Super Collider doesn't work against Enrage guys. Okay. Who wants some fun? Can attack this, then try and super collide this, but it's not gonna work how it seems like it should. Brawl, okay. Victorious bomb. There's, there's the rocket boots I shuffled in. Eight cards, we could just sprint now. I could also just like hit him or this and play another spike shield. I could also just rocket boots this, draw some more cards. I can spike shield double upgrade. He hasn't actually played, he has played a gluttonous ooze. Let's hit him in the face. Still shield slams left. I want to play the other shield, the other weapon first. We're also kind of trying to make room in our hand to be able to use sprint and such. But yeah, like I said, we are still test Dead Man's Infinite. So we also just want to play more things that give the uh, more of the uh, things that give us armor, like playing the second spike shield. So when we play test, we're like not in any sort of threat of dying. Okay. That's kind of why I wanted to kill this, was the threat of some sort of, uh, bigger thing. We can sap this, though. Ooh, a shield slam. I'm glad I got some armor. Just sprint first. Yeah. Mega assembly. Oh, dear. <gasps> we can get multiple Groms with Warsong Commander? That's sick. I think I just sap the bomb and play the Warsong and kill this. You can kill it, but we also just need to get stuff out of our hand again. Weird looking Kingpin I got there. No life steal yet. Yet. Okay. I can just double Vile Spine and kill this if I want. Or we could double Rover, Vile Spine this. I think I'd actually rather have Rovers, especially with Shield Slam. Yeah, let's just double Rover. I'm gonna 
slam anything? I think I want to just be able to keep drawing. Do I want to play the Omega Assembly? Omega Assembly can actually prevent me from being able to have enough room in my hand to get Shadow Reflection. I'm just going to hit you in the face. Right, you don't have to Deadmans twice with Valyria because with Tess it always shuffles with the passive. Yeah. Well, also just when you when you play Deadmans it shuffles with the passive, but also when you play Tess it shuffles a Tess with the passive, so you can just go infinite that way. I think I may just not want to play Omega. I'm not sure though. It's like very hard. <laughs> what key card? Well, like a a Tess I shuffled in, a Deadman's hand I shuffled in. Oh, he missed it. Well. Rampage in this guy now? Oh, baby. Do I want to just rampage this guy twice? I can shield slam twice. I can rampage this guy once. We could potentially kill him with just playing the test. Or I think I'd rather shield slam twice. This is, like, kind of a messy turn. Again, I'm kind of, like, trying to play stuff to, to empty up my hand a bit. We want to protect this guy somewhat. Shield Slam's actually now kind of weird, because I do gain a bunch of armor. I could Shield Slam my own guys and not be able to kill him. We may Shield Slam our own Groms. We might have just been able to lethal him with Tess last turn. We would have actually gained 10 armor, so we couldn't have Shield Slammed our own Groms. We do have a lot of things that give minions rush. That's true. I think he has it three times? Is it, it, It's either three or four times. Ooh, Nullifier. Okay. No, I can't Shield Slam that. All right. I think it's time. I think we're gonna gonna test this turn. Oh no, the flame elemental that I didn't want a dead man's hand. I think it's a sign that I should test. Should I play the flame elemental first? No, we're just gonna play the test. We're just gonna get dead man's hand, shuffle a test back in, and the flame elemental again! We're gonna replace our weapon at some point in here, aren't we? Maybe we should have attacked with our weapon first. Oh, Tess is dead. Everything's got rush. New weapon. Look at them with their plus one attack from the Warsong Commander. <laughs> I wanted to just like forever grind with the uh, the dead man's head, but that was you know still a pretty sweet victory with the plus one attack not mattering, but being on the board.